Hey everybody, it's Danthorod and welcome back to How to Date a Magical. Right, the last we left off, I don't remember. I was apparently beep booping or something. Ugh, my phone. What time is it? T mm, too early. Oh, it's just a text message. OMG, wake up, you're missing school. JK, it's the weekend, I got you good. <laughs> and no way, Yui wants to go to the cafe. You should come with us, YN. Yukari and her early morning text messages. What am I going to do with this girl? You know, throw off a bridge. <laughs> That'd be too cruel. And I just... Hmm. It might be fun to hang out with you and your car at a cafe, but still, I have to mess with the car at least a little bit. I could reply back. I'm a shithead. No. As usual, immediately after the message gets sent, I get a response back. You meanie. You don't have a choice. Come meet us at Cafe Shiba. <laughs> I send her back a serious reply and let her know I'll be there. Cafe Shiva. I think I've seen it on the walk over to school. Should be easy, easy to get there. Just examine my surroundings. The wafting aroma of fine coffee invites me into the cafe as I approach. This is some serious gourmet shit. When I enter, I'm surprised to see that the place is fairly empty, but I immediately spot the two, gir uh, two girls at a table, giving me a goofy wave. Cute. Cute. Jeez, you took your time, didn't you? Yikes, sorry, sorry. Good morning. Good morning, Yui. Morning, Hikari. Hmm. <laughs> Have you been here before, Addison? No, never. How about you? Ah, uh, yes, I come here all the time. I really like the coffee here. Plus, they always remember my order now, so it's less awkward to come here and, uh, than go anywhere else. <laughs> it means less than having uh, less human interaction, which means I don't have to talk to people and get freaked out by them. I can just sit by myself. <laughs> it's a pretty cozy place. It'd be a cool idea to bring our books here, here and study. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, please, it's the weekend. Can we talk about studying some other time? Diddly-ling. Uh, yes, let's just enjoy the weekend. Your, f your head was ringing. You get a phone call? Have you to order yet? No, not yet. I can't decide. I want to get a croissant, but I don't know if it will fill me up. It's a flaky pastry. No, it will not. <laughs> Why don't you better off getting an apple danish? Well, that not be enough either. Why don't you get one of each? One of each? I'm not made of money. Sheesh. I really recommend the strawberry parfait. It's wonderful. Parfait? For breakfast? You're my kind of girl, Yui. Before long, a waitress comes around to take our order. I'll have the strawberry parfait, please. Oh, and another, uh, also my usual coffee. I'll have a strawberry parfait, too, and some chai tea, please. I'll get a, the, the croissant, apple danish, strawberry parfait, and a latte. Thanks. <laughs> the waitress skips away and the girl's looking at me in shock. You're gonna eat all that. How could you betray me? Huh? What did I do? You ordered all the things I couldn't decide between. You're a monster. Whoa, relax. I got a bit of everything so we can all share. Ellipses. Wow, that's really nice of you, Addison. Thank you so much. <laughs> what? Don't thank me if you don't want to, Akari. <laughs> Cannot show gratitude. Must not respect. I can't believe you did such a nice, thoughtful thing. What's the catch? <laughs> no catch, I promise. Just enjoy the food. And don't uh, bother looking at the taste too much. I, it's nothing in it, I promise. I didn't add anything. I got a bit dark. Oh, well then, thank you. After Akari has finished grilling about being generous, the waitress brings her order out. He was holding back a yawn and she sips her coffee from a gigantic mug. Is that your, uh, your usual order, Yui? Ah, yes, it's a bit big, I know. I mean, I drink, I usually drink my coffee and or tea in giant mugs, too, so it's, I just, I basically make half a pot and then, uh, oh, well, coffee, specifically, make half a pot and then just pour the entire thing into one big mug. It's much simpler that way. It doesn't mean I have to add a lot, spend more time docking the damn thing up to get the way I like it, but it's a cappuccino with an extra shot of espresso. Hearts. <laughs> blushy, blushy. Wow. You must be so energetic if you drink all that all the time. Really? <laughs> Nothing about her strikes me as being energetic. 
but now I know she likes coffee. Good. I got a girl. Actually, I'm kind of the opposite. I have to stay up so loud. I need these in the morning just to function. Hikari looks at Yui quizzically. You can tell she wants to ask why Yui's always up late, but Yui uh, doesn't want to be intrusive. I mean, if I'm correct, it's because she watches horror movies. Which would be like me, staying up super late in the night, uh, night before having to go to work in the morning, watching I don't know, YouTube videos or anime or some of the bullshit on the internet. Or reading. I do that sometimes. I know how to word on book. For once, I actually know something Hikari doesn't. I give her a smug grin. Yui stands up watching horror films more often than not. Isn't that right, Yui? Yui nods gently. Whoa, horror films? I get goosebumps just saying those words. Rita beware. <laughs> you must be really brave, Yui. Oh, no, not really. I can be a bit of a scaredy cat. I have lots of trouble falling asleep after watching something scary. I hear noises and see things in the shadows that aren't there. So, let me get this straight. You don't watch horror films because you're brave, because you like scaring yourself. That's why I like horror. I like being scared. I know it's weird, isn't it? It's kind of an odd masochistic thing. Mmm, something like that, I suppose. How odd. Oh, um, no offense. Don't worry. I know I have some strange habits, but what about you, Kari? What are your hobbies? Just please don't tell me that your obsession with horror doesn't doesn't mean you're like secretly a like a bloodthirsty sadist or something. <clears throat> er I'm a bit like Addison. I kinda just like watching anime and reading manga. I love manga too. I read all sorts of horror stories. <laughs> I don't think you read the same kind of stuff. <laughs> That's too bad. What kind of manga do you read? Nah, I can't tell you. I think I'm a little kid. Oh, go on. You know my weird hobby. I won't judge you. Well, okay. My favorite manga series is Cutie Star. Cutie Star. A thoughtful expression crosses Yui's face. I can tell she's strained to remember something. Oh, I know Cutie Star. I used to watch the animated TV, uh, series on TV every morning before preschool. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see why you didn't want to tell me about it. It's okay. I know it's a children's series. I guess I never really grew out of it. Seeing Cutie Star fight evil and transform into a magical girl inspired me all throughout my childhood. I think I never let go of when I got older because it was always so important to me. So I've always collected the manga books and watched the TV show for as long as I can remember. There's nothing wrong with liking something that inspires you. In fact, I think it's great. I'd love to sit down and watch some Kitty Star with you or something. Really? Oh, Yui, that means so much to me. Thank you. Maybe Addison can join us too. I don't know a bigger fan of Kitty Star than Addison. Thanks for outing me, bitch. Hey, don't drag me down with you. My obsession with Kitty Star is private. <laughs> the girls lose themselves in a fit of laughter. Guess there's nothing to do uh, except let them tie themselves out. I roll my eyes and dig into the food in front of me. We all spend a couple of hours together at the cafe, laughing and having a good time. The waitress eventually brings the bill around. Hikari glanced at it and her eyes widen. Oh no. I had no idea this place was so expensive. I hardly have any money on me. Can't be that bad. Let me see the bill. Eep! Please, you're both exaggerating. We only had a couple hot drinks and a little of, uh, a little bit of food. Hmm. The Hikari did order an extra parfait. And melon soda. I don't know, the refills, which can't have been free. I snatched the bill at the total. Well, it's not that bad. I mean, I won't be able to afford to eat for the rest of the week, but it's not the end of the world. Besides, if three of us split it, we'll cover it easily. I reached my wallet and noticed something was amiss. Something, or some... Yeah, I was gonna say... I... I <laughs> Yui just... Uh, that. He kind of just fucking split. <laughs> or... Something or someone is missing. Yui, where's Akari? I... Yui. She... She said she had to go. But she thanks you for her your generous contribution to her share of the bill. Betrayed. Yui, can we split the bill 50-50? Eh, I'd love to, but... Let me have a handful of change. I can cover my coffee, at least. Yeah, thanks. Completely defeated, uh, completely defeated, I told the waitress to pay, I'll pay with my credit card. At the very least, I can, ma I can then make her payments later on. Maybe I'll sell a kidney or two. Yui bounds after I finish paying and thanks for the meal. She heads out the door before I even get so much as a chance to say goodbye. Wow. Well, just 
thrown under the bus by my close friend. Yeah. Just <laughs> I walk outside and expect to find her in a car in the street, but they're nowhere to be found. Just as I'm feeling used and abused, I receive a text message. Surely that's a car telling me she's sorry for leaving without paying. Oh, but you do not believe that. However, it's not Akari. Yo, what's up? You chillin' today? Ah, it's my good friend Shin, who... He and I go way back. Apparently we go way back. But I haven't known him as long as Akari. I've only known him for this split second here. I don't know think about him except I know him a long time. He's still one of my best friends. I met Shin back in school when he was a bit of a troublemaker. He used to copy my notes in class, annoying me constantly by, st by stealing my pen. I suppose after a while, his anno uh, annoying ways wore me down when we became friends. So he wormed his way into your life like a virus. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of Akari, who just kind of sticks to- I mean, what? Before I get the chance to reply to his message, he buzzes me again. How's he in school? Are there lots of hotties? I shoot him back a quick message, ensuring them that there are indeed lots of hotties at the academy. Sweet. Yo, we gotta catch up. I bet he off for work tomorrow, King. I agree with him to- do people actually talk like that? I agree to meet up with them. It's been a while since we hung out. Dope. Can't wait. I'll come to your I'll come to your place in the morning. Peace. I, does anyone actually talk like that? I put my phone away. And I take one last look around the street to see if a car or you or you're still looking around, but I don't see either one of them. I guess I'll just head home for the right day and relax. Gib choice it never mind then. Do 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 The sound of the doorbell is elegant and serene. I've always liked the little chime that rings out whenever someone comes to visit me. <laughs> okay, the writing is pretty good. Then again, it's kind of annoying. I hate it, and I'm going to remove it. <laughs> Yo, open up the damn door, I'm cold out here. Looks like Shin has arrived. I head over to the door and let him in. Yeah, okay. Hey, what's up? I glance past him and look outside. The sun is shining and a warm breeze is blowing. He said it was cold out there. What is the deal, you lying fuck? No, it ain't cold. I just wanted to come in. I shake my head and Shin gives me his trademark stupid grin. I miss you. Haven't seen you in ages. I miss you too, man. Where have you been? I've been so good. Raising dough every day. Oh? You have been making bread? Nah, dude. Making money. I got a few uh, I've got a job a few months back. Someone actually hired you. Did they meet you first? Shut up. I'm working at a convenience store. Job's not great, but the money's not great either. So it's not great. That sucks. Learning money's better than no money, you know? Oh, I do know. Trust me. Fuck. Ugh. Besides, this is all just a stepping stone to bigger and better things. Oh, yeah? What kind of things? Well, if he's lucky a managerial position, then he can just date the store for the rest of his, his life and eventually die lonely and unfulfilled. I mean, what? Mm. Well, when I get into the uh, dealing of cash, I'll start my own company. Mm, that's right. You always want to design your own clothes, right? I just hope this isn't uh, something that you would design. Hell yeah, shirts by Shin, or maybe Shin's shirts or something. You're good there, buddy, but congrats. I'm glad you're chasing your dreams. Thanks, dude. I need to understand. So, like, tell me, what's it like going to an academy for magical girls? Be the biggest nerd there? <laughs> all in all, it's pretty great. I made a friend. Good job. Is, uh, is the car you're studying with you? Yep, she's in all my classes. Coincidence, I think not. Right on. Hey, random question. I've seen the girls from your school walking home in the afternoon. How come everyone, are, uh, everyone wears uniforms? Like, I get the whole uniform thing during high school, but this is tertiary education. Isn't this like Magical Girl Academy, more like university? Well, Hikari explained this to me once. Which really means she had to explain it to me about five to six times before it actually stuck. Um, she said it's more like the training academy than a university, like military academy. So we all wear uniforms, we train. It has something to do with discipline or something. Sounds deep, dude. I know about any of that, but the uniforms are hot, at least. <laughs> yep. So that response coming. 
Hey, so can you do any magic, tri any magic tricks yet? Nah. Sheesh. I won't result and soon. We'll see. At the moment, I'm just happy to cruise along alone when I can. You got it made, dude. You folks pay your rent and you go, uh, get to go to school with hotties every day. You got no idea what the real world is like for us working class citizens. What's your point? I think you need a little taste of the real world. You should get a part-time job and see what it's like to work for your money. Oh, so this is when I get the option to stop getting a job in my off time, I see. Make a little bit of cash. Yeah, right. I've got enough of my plate as it is. Is that so? Then what happens when you meet a cool chick and you want to take her on a date? You gonna tell her call your parents and ask for money? I, well, well, that'd be supremely lame. <laughs> no. You get your own finance, uh, your own finances in order, so you can treat girls and have a good time. I hate to admit it, but you may be right. Exactly. Shun is always right. No, but this time you'd have a point. But finding a part-time job would be tough. I don't have any free time with classes every weekday. I got you covered. The UVA store is hiring and they love students because they uh, can pay them next to nothing. You're really fun this place. I'm serious. Money's money. We can work together. It'd be dope. Hmm. Tell you what. I'll put in a good word for you the bit with the boss man. I'll see if I can get you some flexible hours. If I do that, you just give it a shot. Yeah, okay, I'll give it a shot. Bang. That's awesome. Shit and Addison. Working together just like the old days. I don't remember those old days. Whatever. Then again, I can barely remember what I had for breakfast yesterday morning, so... No, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, tell me more about your new friend you made. Is she cute? She and I spent some more time together chatting and playing some video games. It was really good, uh, good to catch up with them again. She went home in the afternoon and I chilled out for the evening. I'm getting ready for bed when my phone goes off. You know, I talked to the boss. He says you got the job. You'll be on cash register with me. Uh, with me. Is that sweet or what? Phew, that didn't take long. I think I've stumbled upon a part-time job. Best bet is, the hours are super flexible. You can basically just come in whenever you want and work. So, come into the convenience store if you ever need to earn some cash. See you soon. Oh, how utterly convenient. It really is a convenient store because I can just walk in and be like, Yo, I'm ready to make some wages. Tutorial, working part-time. Are you ready to, to uh, chain yourself to a slaving, low-income job for that'll make you hate your life and humanity? Well, here you go. You can now work, uh, visit the convenience store in town. Working at the convenience store will allow you to earn money. You have money to earn to purchase gifts for, uh, from stores or just gifts to give to girls. Money will also help you purchase things that can make you uh, well, temporarily numb the pain of your empty, vacant existence. And make you wish, uh, think for even a moment that your life is worth something in the long run. <laughs> the amount of money you earn working is tied to your exper expertise attribute. Raise your expertise, earn money. Oh, good. And on that note, I think we're in the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.